Hello, I'm back. I've been away for the festive period, so not as many films released as normal, sorry, apologies for that. But uh, Felice Anno Nuovo, which is Happy New Year in Italian. And let's hope it is a Happy New Year. First game is against Robo Siena. Let's get on with it. Hello, welcome back to the team whose name I can't pronounce. And you would think that Roba Siena is a fairly easy name to pronounce. Uh, let's just have a, let's quick click on them to get this up. Roba Siena, I mean, look at that. But listen to it. Robura Siena. Robura, Robura. That's the bit I can't do. Like, I'm rolling my R's too much, I think. Robura Siena. Robura Siena. I don't know. Anyway, today we're playing Robura Siena, however you pronounce that. That was actually quite good, I think. And obviously, it's the first game of the season, so we don't really know what to expect from them. We've got... I mean, let's have a look at their their results so far. Um, Vitrus Verona is Serie, Serie C B, I think. Two-all draw with them. Uh, Pontedera are our division, Serie C A. 3-2, they won that, so yeah, that's good. Caralesi are our division as well, but they lost that 3-1. So... It's, it's hard to work out at the moment what they're going to be like. In fact, there's not much I can actually tell you before this before this game. It's going to be just a case of getting into it, I think. The media prediction is for them to finish fifth, which I think is higher than us. Our predicted finish is seventh. Oh, this is the guy I wanted to look at as well, Imperia, Imperiali. Uh, he's on loan from Empoli. He's only 19 years old. But again, he, look at this. Natural fitness, 19. Stamina, 15. Balance fifteen, he, determination fourteen. He's got some. He's got some quite good attributes, um, and I think that again, it's very difficult with youngsters to to determine how good they're actually going to be when you when you go up against them because attributes can be a little bit misleading. With him being only nineteen years old, he could he could be incredible. Basically, <laughs> yeah. In fact, if we have a look at our kind of pre match uh, analysis that our chief scout has, has put together, he's listed Marco Imperiali as. Uh, potentially their, one of their key players. Uh, highest pass combination was between Marco Imperiali and As Alessio, Alessio Cristiani, who plays on the right wing. Um, again, it's very difficult to tell too much at, the, at this stage, and I think we're probably best off just getting into the game and seeing what happens. Right, they've got a few players out. Uh, Luca Zanon, Nikita Contini, Danilo Boulevardi and Eros De Santis. Uh, we've got a few players out ourselves as well. Massimiliano Pesente is suspended. Mattia Caradi is suspended. Uh, and he would be in the first team, Caradi. Um, and Elizalde is out, unfortunately, with a twisted ankle. He is due back, does it say there? No, let's have a look. He's only injured for short term, I think. Oh no, 10 days and three weeks, between 10 days and three weeks which is a shame because he would be in the starting lineup. So we'll have to see how he does anyway, uh, recovery-wise. Hopefully he'll be back for the next game on the channel anyway. He might miss a few of the beginning games of the season, but he would be in the team if it wasn't for that. It looks like the odds are favouring Siena, interestingly. So we've got Believe in goal. We've got Bertoncini, Silva as the libero uh, in the centre of defence there, Pegrefi as well uh, as the back line. And that would usually include Elizalde, but obviously he's injured. Troiani as wing back on support, Barloco as a wing back on support, uh, Nico as the box to box midfielder um, in central midfield, Porcari as the central midfielder defend on defend. And actually, um, I swapped them around. The central midfielder defend was on the left of the, th the midfield three in the last film, and I've actually sort of tidied that up. So this the mid, this defensive central midfielder is now in the centre of the pitch. Um, it just feels a little bit better looking, symmetry-wise, but we'll, we'll see if that changes anything. Della Lata is playing as the Mazzala on support. We've got Portanova, who's the youngster. Let's have a quick look at him again, so you, to refresh your memory. Portanova, the youngster, Manolo Portanova, uh, Barry Manolo, playing as the advanced playmaker on support. And then up front, we've got Carazza. I think that's a pretty strong team. We're going to go out there positive. We don't really know what to expect from the opposition, but hopefully we can get a result. Okay, so here we are, the first game of Serie C. Ah, 6.30 kickoff at the Artemio Franchi Stadium in Siena. Incidentally, remember the stadium visit film will be out very shortly, if it's not already, uh, of that 
very stadium in Siena. So you can go and watch that after this if you want. Or actually, you could probably, you might have watched it already, for all I know. Who knows? Okay, so Socio Perfetto is saying, anything we have to say now or just overcomplicate things? Fine, I'm happy with that. You can do the talk. Oh, actually, Porta Nova was um, inspired by that. Let's let's just get underway. There's Imperiale, who we spoke about before the game. I mean, this is just the kickoff, so I'm not expecting too much from this. So things I'm looking looking out for in this game is I'm looking to see how the Libero does to start with, because it'd be really interesting to see whether he gets forward much. Oh, a little foul there. Just a little foul. Um, it'd be interesting to see how Libero does Jacopo Silva. It'd be really interesting to also see how Manolo Portanova does the youngster. We've also got um, the decent, our, our young decent striker on the bench who we might look to bring on at some point, Nunez. Oh, Pocari just misses. Um, and Nunez, we, we're hoping, can do pretty well. Um, we're giving Carazza the start just because he's played well so far. Here's Pagreffi, Baloco. No, Bertoncini. Looks like we're putting a bit of pressure on early. Oh, oh, wow, Silva! What was I saying about the libero? He got forward. He scored a goal. Incredible. Let's check this out. So Bertoncini lays it off to Silva. So Silva's sitting there forward. And Bertoncini's a defender as well. So we're only leaving one player back there. But Silva smashes it into the back of the net. Brilliant. Great start. Only, I mean, I say great start. We're 21 minutes in, but still pretty good. And Jacopo Silva's got an 8 rating already. Oh, Belmonte. The man from Belmonte has a strike as well, but believe saves it. Man from Belmonte. Probably youngsters might not get that reference. I'm not going to explain it. Just Google it, YouTube it, something like that. Um, yeah, so 29, 30 minutes in. Jacopo Silva's on an 8.1 rating. Uh, five shots to three. Pegreffi again to Barloco. No. Silva! He's on fire! Jeez. Lurking outside the area. I mean, like I said, it is five shots to five at the moment, so it's not as one-sided as these highlights are showing. Barloco, this is almost the same highlight. Silver to Triani. Oh, Triani, lovely ball through to Carazza. That was a clever little ball from Triani there. Brilliant. We're doing well. This is a good first half. Bertoncini's got um 7.1 rating as well, and fair enough, you know, he's been getting forward well. Great start. I'm happy with that. Again, I'm going to hand that over to the assistant. Let's just get on with it. Don't want to don't want to mix anything up too much. Let's see if we can get another just to just to make things a little bit more comfortable. Okay, so here's Triani to Della Latta, Portanova. Nope. Anyone not doing well? Carazza's not doing great. Della Latta's not doing great. It says Triani's not doing great here, but I've seen him getting up and down a little bit. Um, Pegreffi has got a 7.1 now as well. Nico has been booked, but what is he on? He's on a 6.8, so I'd rather leave him on. I think I'll wait till 70 minutes to make a substitution. Here's Imperiale to... Here's Rossi. Russo. Building from the back. We've got them fairly well covered. Here's the man from Belmonte again. Cesarini to Imperiale. Get him. Oh, God. Nice, Triani. Here's Portanova. Let's see what the youngster can do. Oh, a great ball. Carazza. Have a shot. Back heel to Palo. Oh, God, that would have been incredible. Oh, fluid football. Is that a thing? Paloco, Nico. Pocari, I'm liking this so far. We could do with another goal because, although I'm liking the way we're playing, if they score... 1-1 one, one doesn't really do it justice, does it? It's putting over. Oh, God, he loses it. Doesn't matter. Go on, smash him. Oh, to nobody. Bertoncini. Oh, I didn't need to head that out. He could have just brought it down. Get on that. He's on it. Here's putting over. Calm. Calm in possession. Barloco coming down the wing. Oh, brilliantly. He does him. Oh, oh, God. Yes. Yes, Triani! Yes, brilliant! I thought he was offside for a second there. They were kind of flailing at it a little bit. So Barloco got the ball in. Oh, look at that. 
I don't know how he skipped that challenge, basically. Barloco gets it in. Triani flapped at it, but then got the got the second ball, and it went in off the keeper. 2-0. And then they're not going to come back from this, are they? Let's make a sub, because we might as well. Uh, anybody's super tired. Barloco's tired, so we'll, we'll get him off. Um, ooh, we don't have really a good replacement for him. But we'll put Sestu on anyway because he's an attack. He's an attacking player. Uh, so wing back, although he plays right wing, uh, he's going to play left wing back. Makes sense. It does make sense. Here's Carazza. We're going to take him off and we're going to put Roberto Nunez on, who's the guy who we're a little bit excited about because he scored two in his debut. Remember, we've got five substitutions in Serie A, so we can go crazy if we want. Um I don't want, I don't want to shake it up too much, but I will, yeah, I'm no, I'll leave it like that. I'll leave it like that for now. That'll do. Right. Let's see if any of those subs can make a difference. I mean, we've got some good ratings across the board there now. Jacopo Silva's 8.3. Barloco was 8.2 when I took him off. Nico's on a yellow. I might take him off actually now. 80 minutes, I'm going to take Nico off. You watch him get sent off now just before just before I'm about to take him off. In fact, look, nine shots to eight. So it's not all been plain sailing. Um, the, the highlights are a little bit misleading there, actually. Right, let's let's just get these these two on a yellow on yellows off because we don't want anyone um suspended. So Spinozzi can come on. Della Latta can go off for Let's try Benedetti out. He's a youngster. We'll see how he can do. Okay, here's Sestu. Over to Triani. We're, we're, we're pinging it across the wings quite well. Sestu. Oh, we're, uh, sorry. We're pinging it from wing to wing quite well. Which is not a specific instruction I've given them. So, don't know how they're doing it or why they're doing it, but it's working, so I'm happy. Oh, he's got too much space. Oh. This is a good start. This is a good start. It's nearly over. Oh no, don't let them score now. Keep a clean sheet. Keep a clean sheet. Let's let's praise them. Oh god, why did I praise them there? Ah. Would have been nice to keep a clean sheet. Um But as long as we win, assuming we win this. I would be very pissed off if we end up with a draw now. I mean, it was a good goal. Guberti. Or oh, curled a little bit, I think. Stefano Guberti. Yeah, fair enough. But come on, blow your whistle, ref. Blow your whistle, ref. Bertoncini. To Sestu. There we go. Final whistle. And we win. 2-1. First game of the season. 2-1. Couldn't have, couldn't have asked for any better. Well, we could, we, we could have not conceded that late goal, but still, fucking amazing. Look, eight point three for Jacopo Silva. Who's this down here? Um, Barloco, eight point two as well. Um, we got a couple of seven point, a seven point three and a seven point three there. Troiani and Pergreffi, um, and Bertoncini on a seven point one. Nico did well as well. Brilliant. So there you have it, a 2-1 win in our first game. Um, and we currently sit now in in um, the Serie A A table. We're currently sitting sixth. Um, can't really, not really any point looking at the table at this stage in the season. But still, you know, a win is a win. And I'm happy with that because, you know, first game of the season, you're not really sure what to expect. Look, it looks like Juventus under 23 is lost as well down there, which is unexpected. Um, but yeah, you're not really you're not really sure what to expect first game of the season. Um, but to concede a 94th minute goal was a little bit sloppy, but, you know, we did okay. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with sixth place. I'm happy with a win. I'm happy with three points. I'm happy. A very quick look at the schedule. So our next game is against Juventus under 23, who we just said, you know, looks like they lost their first game. So they're either going to be out to out to crucify whoever they play next or, um, or they're going to be shit and we're going to beat them. Um... Then we've got Entella and Arzakena. And I think the next film on the channel 
will probably be this one. I'll play through these off of these three off camera and it will probably be Alessandria at home next game on the channel. So not bad at all. A win for the first game of the season. Couldn't have hoped for more. So far, so good. Silver playing well, which was a good sign. A couple of, well, quite a few players playing well, actually. But Silver playing well is, is a really good sign because, you know, obviously that's he's the guy that we built the team around the Libero role. So brilliant start, ready to go. I'm looking forward to the next few games now. Like I said, the next game will probably be Alessandria. Uh, the next game on the channel anyway will probably be Alessandria, so stay tuned for that. A couple of things I want to just clear up before I leave. Uh, number one, I want to apologise for the last film. In the last film I was talking about a player, I can't remember who it was now, and I said he played for Atlanta. And I meant Atalanta. And I do know the difference, I'm not stupid. Um, and it's really embarrassing, and Ted pointed it out, Ted Redwood pointed it out. I feel like an idiot. So I have to apologize and I will take any punishment that you that you decide to throw my way. The second thing is my hair and my beard. I need to apologize to Chris Johnson. No doubt he's looking at this film thinking, you scruffy bastard, you need to cut your hair. I, I will try and do that for the next episode. Um, I promise. I promise I will try. I can't promise I will do it. I promise I will try. Um, I feel like this has been a little bit, a little bit short, a little bit weird I'm a little bit rusty I've had a bit of time off and I feel a bit like not quite into it yet so I need to need to get another couple of games under my belt next episode will be a lot better and we're just gonna keep it's just gonna the ball's just gonna keep rolling from here on out so good times ahead we're gonna get promoted it's almost certain see you soon